Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you had remembered the previous video which I had made on the uh, the cheap spot welder, I mentioned that it failed. So I just uh, disassembled it and I was trying to troubleshoot it and finally found the solutions of this. So let me just quickly run through the uh, mods which I made. Uh, I actually got to know from one of the video in YouTube and uh, there are two mods that we need to make for this particular device. So first thing is that you will have five MOSFETs on it. So what you would need to do is you would need to make sure that the traces to the MOSFETs are resoldered. You have a good solders at both the ends for a proper connection because initially the solder is pretty less. Okay. And the second thing is that if you see the positive output which goes to the soldering pin, that you could actually remove and connect it directly on the other side because it's just a direct straight through connection. So if you connect it there, there would be resistance again. And the third thing is that you have to lift the capacitor and there you would see a small diode uh, which was actually blown in my case. So I had to replace that. And uh, so I'll quickly show you how I, re how I replaced it. So this actually gets connected to the capacitor. And if you see here, I had uh, removed my uh, diode and I ordered a couple of diodes uh, from a website. And uh, actually, I just need one diode, but generally for SMD components, you won't get one. You, you have to buy at least 10 or 15. So that's the M7 diode, which I had uh, purchased. So I'm just going to quickly mount that out. And guys, a quick tip is that uh, when soldering this SMD components, it's going to be tricky when you don't have a proper microscope uh, equipment. So what I do is that I generally use my phone camera to zoom it in. And then with that, I generally use it to solder. And second thing is that do not touch the soldering tip on the diode, which is not good. It will damage the component. But here in this case, I did do it. Uh, but you guys make sure that you do not touch the tip on the diode itself. So you just need to keep it for a couple of seconds and the solder would melt and it get, it gets bonded quite well. And also there was another mod uh, which was mentioned along with this. I'll tell you what that is. I'm just making sure that the other side is also like fully secured. And now I'm just trying to lift it and make sure that uh, it's in place. So once the diode was replaced, Second thing is that what you could do is you could add a, a 10 kilo ohm a resistor in series with the diode. Uh, so that is to stop the inrush current going into the capacitor because the capacitor that they are using is almost 10,000 microfarad, which is pretty huge. So what you could do is you could move the diode a little further down and then connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series and then give it to the input of the capacitor. That's something that you could do, but in this case, I'm not doing it. Uh, because I have so many diodes. If this diode blows, I'll just replace it. And uh, second thing is that uh, you can make sure that all the uh, solder tabs on the resistors are quite secure on the other components because that's a driver circuit for the MOSFETs. And then the other mod is, is on the control circuit. So let me just turn that in. So behind the control board, you have a couple of resistors and then uh, let me zoom this in and if you see uh, there is this resistor called R4. So what you got to do is you have to connect a 1 kilo ohm uh, resistor in parallel with the R4 diode. So once you connect the resistor in series with the R4 resistor, uh, it would start triggering, it start uh, triggering the MOSFETs. I didn't have an SMD component for it so I just use a normal resistor. Uh, with which you could work with pretty simple. So after these two mods, it started working quite well. So let me just quickly assemble this and I'll connect it to my battery. So what I've done is that I've connected it to my uh, inverter battery and then I'll set this into manual and let me check the jewels to set up five. So once we do that and once we just hold the tips together, it should spot weld, which it does. Perfect. You saw a spark, right? So which pretty much means that it's working now. So if you see there's two dots there, uh, those are the spot wells. Let me just increase the jewel to maybe one more, maybe six. 
overall, guys, I'm pretty satisfied with it for now. But troubleshooting it and making it work is little time consuming. So, but yeah, uh, it does work and the spot weld is quite secure. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is just a quick video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe.